Bích Phương xin kính chào quý vị. Hôm nay Chủ nhật ngày 13 tháng 10, 2019. Đến với VTV sáng nay, Bích Phương kính mời quý vị theo dõi phỏng vấn đặc biệt ông Jonathan Fahey. Trong phần 2 là cuộc tiếp xúc của ông Trần Quang Duyệt và ông Hà Văn Sơn. Để mở đầu, Bích Phương kính mời quý vị theo dõi phần 1 của chương trình VTV sáng Chủ nhật hôm nay. Bích Phương xin kính chào quý vị đến với chương trình phỏng vấn đặc biệt ngày hôm nay. Bích Phương xin giới thiệu ông Jonathan Fahey. Ông sẽ ra ứng cử cho Commonwealth Attorney của Fairfax County và Fairfax City, tiểu bang Virginia. Hello, Mr. Fahey. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you very much for having me. Can you please let us know, as uh, almost two decades of uh, prosecutors for federal, why you running for Commonwealth Attorneys of Fairfax City and Fairfax County? Well, thank you. Again, um, I'm been a prosecutor both at the state and federal level for uh, for about 19 years before I started running for this. But the reason I'm running for this is because uh, Fairfax County is one of the safest large communities in America. And a lot of that stems from the great work of the current Commonwealth attorney, the current police department. And I'm running because I want to keep Fairfax County safe. Um, I'm raising three children here. I grew up here and it's it's a it's a wonderful community. It's a safe community and I want to keep it that way. Your topic is about gangs-related murders. Share with us a little bit more about that. Well, I've, again, as a, a both a, a state and federal prosecutor, I, I've prosecuted all sorts of cases. Uh, among the cases I've prosecuted are gang cases such as MS-13. And, you know, it, we do live in a very safe community, but uh, we do have a significant issue with gang violence. And as a federal prosecutor, I work hand-in-hand -hand with the state prosecutor and local police departments to prosecute. MS-13 members for crimes such as murder, for drug dealing, things like that. And that, as a Commonwealth attorney, that will be one of my priorities, will be addressing the gang issue, being aggressive in the prosecution of gang members, and, and all in an effort to keep our community safe. Fairfax County is very diverse, and we have about, um, you know, justice and fairness. What do you think of that? Well, th that's a good question because we have, I don't know if it's, the most diverse, but it's probably one of the most diverse counties in America. And it's one of the reasons it's such a great community to live in. But one of the challenges for law enforcement as well as the Commonwealth Attorney is to make sure we reach out to all the various groups to let them know the Commonwealth Attorney is there to serve them. Um, if they're victims of crimes, we're there to help them. If they're witnesses, we'll be, we'll be there to assist them. And we'll prosecute the crimes occurring in their communities aggressively and fairly. And we'll treat everyone fairly, no matter what community they're in, and that's one of the primary responsibilities of the Commonwealth Attorney, but I do think there, there is an additional responsibility making sure these communities know we're out there to serve them, uh, to look out for them, to keep them safe. Is that what is about the uh, public safety, not politic? Well, the process of becoming the Commonwealth Attorney is a political process. You have to run for election, but one of the great things about the Commonwealth Attorneys that we've had in Fairfax, and we've had two of them in my lifetime, Bob Horan and Ray Morrow, and they're both Democrats, but one thing they did once they took the oath of office as the Commonwealth Attorney, they always put public safety, be, I mean, put public safety first and politics behind. Once they took the oath of, oath of office, politics stopped at the courthouse door, and you would never know by the way they prosecuted the cases, the way they handled the cases, what party they were, or what political agenda they had. And I think that's so important because once politics enters into the judicial process, it's a dangerous game and everybody ultimately loses. Why do you think you would do a better job than your opponents? Well, I think this job is an extremely serious job, extremely important job. Uh, the Commonwealth Attorney uh, is the leader of an office that has over 30 attorneys working, working in the office. And I have, again, two decades of experience prosecuting some of the most serious uh, crimes that have occurred in Northern Virginia. Uh, probably done close to 40 jury trials and numerous other types of cases, cases from murder cases, gang cases, drug trafficking cases, theft cases. But it's really important when leading an office or doing anything of substance that experience really does matter. If you were to go to a doctor, you'd want somebody uh, to 
perform a surgery or anything else on you or a family member, you'd want to make sure they had the relevant experience that could do it and do it well. You'd also want to check with other people that, that have worked with that doctor or that surgeon and see what they thought of them. That's why I've, I've picked up so many endorsements of former federal prosecutors, commonwealth attorneys, state prosecutors. But experience is really a critical component because from day one, you have to be able to make important decisions and you have to be able to, to draw on that experience and you have to be able to earn the respect of the people you're leading in the office. And my experience and my performance will earn me the respect of the people I, I will lead. I also have the respect of the law enforcement community and that will enable me to be successful when I'm the Commonwealth's attorney. Why is run as an independent? Again, I think this office, it's so important for politics to be put aside and public safety to be the priority. So as an independent, the message is out there that I will treat everyone fairly, that it doesn't matter what their political party is. I will not go into the office to advance a political agenda. I will go into the office to enforce the law, to do it fairly, and to do it impartially, and I will leave politics behind. Mr. Fahey, so how many tries have you been in your almost two decades as a prosecutor? Well, I've done dozens of trials. I've probably tried about 40 cases to, to a jury and uh, you know, many, many other cases. I've tried cases ranging from murder cases to theft cases um, during my career as both a state prosecutor and a federal prosecutor. So the message to send it out on November 5th from you. The message on November 5th is let's keep Fairfax County the safest large county in America. Uh, vote for Jonathan Fahey on November 5th. Put public safety first, put politics behind. Keep Fairfax safe. Thank you. So with this special interview, I would like Vietnamese American to register. The last day to vote is October 15, and Tuesday, November 5th, please come out and vote. And your last message to Vietnamese Americans. Please vote for me, Jonathan Fahey, on November 5th. Keep Fairfax County the safest large county in America. Let's put public safety first, put politics aside. Thank you. I wish you all the best and thank you for the interview with SPTN and BATV. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi cuộc phỏng vấn đặc biệt giữa Bích Phương và ông Jonathan Fahey. Xin hẹn quý vị vào những kỳ phỏng vấn lần sau.